Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And just a few minutes ago, really, I posted this video on the Smart Fill Tool and I stated in the video that I, I drew this in a couple of minutes. Well, somebody's already asked me how I drew that with the Smart Fill Tool. Very easily done. You've got, I've got an eclipse there and I'm going to make a duplicate and I'm going to change the rotation of the duplicate to the edge. And then I'm going to rotate it 20 degrees. And then I'm going to make another duplicate. And I just keep rotating it 20 degrees till I get an even match. Then take the magic of the Smart Fill tool. And this time I'm going to specify no outline. Because I don't want an outline. But I take the Smart Fill tool and I just start filling in every other every other segment I think on this one I actually did the other so we'll do the other one I think it'll look cooler start out on the outside and do all your outside with the smart fill tool and the reason I'm using this outside one because it's it's I don't know if there's such a word as more rounder but it's a rounder shape than if you use the other one and this takes just a little bit of time, but then you're going to go and do the opposite ones. You know, so it'll, they'll kind of meet in the middle. And the good thing about it, if you make a mistake, all you have to do is hit the undo tool and undo it. So now we're going to bring in this one. And um, just real quick, I probably should have paused the video. Then you're going to do this one. So anyway, you get the idea that we're making them just kind of, and I think I'm going to get around here and stop and not do the center one. Then just grab it all and left click your mouse, no outline. And now you've got a weird pattern. It kind of looks three dimensional. You can always test it with our yellow box trick. Put it back in the page and bring it in. And there it is. It's transparent and only the black's going to engrave. And, um, and just real quick, I just, I filled this in with gray last night just to see what it looked like. Just a sidekick to the video, I guess. Go up to edit, find and replace find and replace or replace object we're going to replace color i want to find this color and i want to replace it with white hit finish find all replace all and real quickly corel draw is actually going through there and changing all my black all my gray spots to white. Now, with that said, I filled them in with gray or with white. So that isn't going to be as good as the, what we had over here because you're actually going to be able to see it's not transparent. It's white and it will engrave a little bit. I don't think there's any any way to replace um, just, you know, and, and have it with no fill. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.